Hey y'all, Dekumon here, and welcome back to Final Fantasy 16. Last time, we were helping out Mid make the Enterprise, a really, really cool boat that they were originally going to use as an arc to escape Ballastia. <laughs> well, hopefully, we won't need to do that, especially considering the amount of effort it has gone into just building one of the four smokestacks. Thankfully, we don't have to do all of them. I see it then. Boing. Bugger. I ain't that bugger. I also had a bunch of really fun side quests, including a couple that really shouldn't be side quests. But, uh, eh, that's the way it goes, I suppose. We got one more to do today. Here. At least before Sid. we get to the next set. Reckon you might be just the man to help me out with a bit of bother, if you have a mind to. Eh, uh, what's up? Let's hear it. <laughs> well, it's about this Alembic the Chief's got me making. Mm -hmm. Lovely bit of kit it is. Bung in a solution you want split in, and it will separate it out, just like that. Problem is, it won't always get rid of all the impurities. And with some of the stuff we need it for, that ain't good enough. Mm. Which is why I've been looking for something to filter the liquid we'll be cooking off. And that's where I was hoping you could help me out. Let me guess, you need some beasty stomach or something? Why not? I imagine Ty could get some use out of this Alembic too. Distilling medicines and the like. All right. Why not? Proper job! <laughs> so what exactly do you need for this filter? Nothing but bomb ash will do, says the chief. Bomb ash? Gave me a oh. sample she'd obtained from the university stores. Couldn't believe my eyes. You pour the blackest blight water through it, and it comes out clear as a mountain stream. Damn, that's good so, stuff. I did a bit of reading about where I might be able to get older some. And do you know what I found now? It's only the blimmin' bones of a bomb king. They leave them behind when they die, see? Oh no. I take it that's where I come in. Oh, wait, <laughs> I need a bomb core. If you would have mind. Oh, maybe this guy will give me a bomb core. I, I saw a billet on the hump board for one just the other day. <sighs> of course you did. I on myself, but, well, fighting dirty great balls of flame isn't exactly my forte. You, on the other hand. Yeah, I make a habit of it. All right. I'll see what I can do. <laughs> Thank you oh. kindly. And, and a good hunting, eh? Oh boy, might be getting a new sword here soon. <laughs> uh, and if you're wondering, you're like, wait a minute, didn't you need Weirite as well? Well, thankfully, Karen uh, sells a crap ton of the stuff. And, you know, for a couple thousand gil, I was able to top off and get as much as I needed. Now all I need is this hunt mark. Hmm. Where, oh where, would a bomb be found? Somewhere in Dalmechia, I assume. That's my guess. I'm betting Dalmachia. Alright, let's see where this thing is. Uh, oh my. It's even got a little crowd! Ah, I lost my bet. It's in Sanbarek. Fine. It needs a B rank, so this shouldn't be too much of a problem. I'm not seeing anything labeled as the crook anywhere on my map, and that's concerning. Though I do see a section down here that's unlit. And a section over here that's unlit. So, poo. We're, uh, we're gonna go exploring today. All right, ah, there it is, the crook. And Heaven Hall? Uh, let's poke our nose and see what's at Heaven Hall first. Maybe I'll find something interesting. Probably not, but you never know. I can walk from here. Uh, oh, it's an abandoned settlement. Ah, that's sad. I always hate seeing these places. You know, place that could have once been lively, it's not no more. And unfortunately, beyond just the black blood chest, I'm not expecting to find much else. But, at least I found where the crook is. Now all I got to do is get over there. Go this way. Right? Yes. Follow this, and we shall find us. A big old bomb. <laughs> a bomb king, even. And what looks to be a bunch of fallen ruins. Thank you. Uh, oh. He's taking a little nap. Uh-oh. Okay, he's not napping no more. 
Bomb King. It's all right, I've dealt with normal bombs. How bad could a king bomb be? Look what we have here. Greetings, your majesty. <laughs> Oh, purple. That's new. Okay, we know that. Get away! Ooh, that's smart. Oh, oh, he's got little ones. <laughs> oh, that's the fake. Uh, actually, I don't know if it's the fake or not. Oh! Fish wool ready. Nice try. And another. He doesn't have a stagger bar no more. Oh, he actually never had a stagger bar. That's irritating. That means there's no staggering for you, sir. Fine. We'll just go all out. <laughs> A fight where there's no stagger. I can deal with that. This means I get to pin you in the corner and lay waste. Didn't go anywhere near as low as I wanted it to. Oh, jeez. Uh, I need this. I need this to not die. Thankfully, they'll seem to have a minimum range. Get back here! <laughs> A little rabbit punch for the win. Not too, too bad. Not too bad at all. And there's the bomb ember I needed for my new sword. Thanks. Oh, this I'll also get the uh, bomb ash. Now to collect the ash. Yeah, I probably should have this brought a bucket. Like stuff. Let's see if there's any more. There is. Should have brought a big bag, something, it's not a bucket. Seriously, now all I have is little pocket ash. <laughs> that should do it. If a wine needs more than this, he could fetch it himself. Sheesh. Ah oh, well, at least I'll know where to point him out to. Back to the hideout. Oh, hold on. Hit our next renown marker. Oh, I wasn't expecting you back so. I was expecting to be back here so soon myself, but apparently I'm yeah. far enough to get a high cleric's medallion. All done? Uh, yeah. Now, if I had to guess, that would be a nice replacement for my current cleric's medallion, right? Increases healing potency of high potions by 25. Oh, I see. So the one I have makes normal potions stronger. That one makes high pots stronger. Hmm. I think I'm gonna stick with the normal pot booster. I wonder if this is gonna be another potion upgrade to make them stronger. Hope so. All right there, Sid. Mm -hmm. How's that hunt for the bomb ash going? I got it. It's in my idea. pocket. There you are, three bomb ash. And if you want more, you can go get it yourself. That's the stuff. And plenty of it, too. Enough to keep the Olympic bubbling away for a good old while. You're a gent, Sid. Let nothing say otherwise. <laughs> right then. Let's get this contraption up and running. Oh. I hear something going. Isn't an Alembic used in alchemy in 14? I swear it is. Yeah, it is. It is. That is definitely an, a 14 contraption. Have it. <laughs> the 
Alamon Malembic. And it works just like the chief said it would. <sighs> Very impressive. <laughs> Since the man who cut down a burning boulder. Speaking of which, I still haven't returned a favor. That's nothing. There's no need. The good it will do for the hideaway is reward enough. Don't be silly. Hmm? Why don't you let me take a look at that bag of yours? The one you keep your potions in. Reckon I could work some magic on that, huh? My bag? What kind of magic? Well, we happen to have isolated a substance in our test run of the Alembic that I reckon will make even the toughest lever supple as anything. Thought we might use it to breathe new life into old boots and the like. Save the hideaway a few, Gil. Hmm. Ah, Not a bad idea. I reckon if we slap a bit on your bag, it'll loosen it up enough for you to squeeze in a bottle or two more. Oh, that's what this is. It can't hurt to try, I suppose. I'm about to get an increase that's in my spirit. potion capacity, aren't I? Leave it with me. I'll only be a mo. <laughs> this was definitely worth doing then. I can get carrying more potions around. Well, what do you reckon? It certainly feels more of flexible. Right, told you. Thank you, I think. <laughs> no, no, thank you. <laughs> you think, seriously, Clive? The rest of us in our endeavors. Without you, we'd never have been able to discover wonders like that stuff I rubbed on your bag. I'm <laughs> telling you. There's plenty I'm more sorry. where that came from. <laughs> the phrasing there was just so wrong. <laughs> it really was. I'm sorry. Ah, that was cute. All right. That takes care of that. And that gets me another level. Oh, my goodness. I'm 37. Treated potion satchel. Nice. Inventory increased. I'm guessing I just got a plus one to everything. Alright. Oh, no. Went up more than... Uh, potions are up to six now. High pots are four. Strength and stone skins are three. Nice. I should, uh, I should go top off while I'm getting my new sword made. What's that for you, dear? There it is. Excalibur. Should last you a good while. Alright, let's take a look at it. Anything else? Ooh. Yeah, it's not half bad. It's not half bad at all. All right, Otto. I finally put off everything I can, and it's time to get back to the main story. All right, Clive. Astrid. We'd finish sending half the hideaway traits in across the twins, has she? Mm -hmm. I swear, that girl do anything to put off visiting her old dad's grave. <laughs> no excuses now, though, eh? Hopefully not. Oh, quite. She said there was one final thing she had to take care of. I'm sure she'll be finished soon enough. She said that in those words. She did, yes. Clive, were you born yesterday or something? There is no thing. Ah. She'll probably be halfway to Canva by now. Oh, mid. I might still be able to catch her. God dang it, Mid! Ah. I throttle this girl sometimes. <laughs> ah. Obel, man! Obelus, have you seen Mid? Yep. In a boat, going that way. God dang it. <sighs> then I'm too late. Mm, you in a hurry at all, are ya? Oh, I offered to take her across, but she wouldn't wait. Just paid for a dinghy and rowed off. Oars going like the clappers. Hey, ya. Uh... <laughs> Got some life in her, ain't she? But anyway, I was on my way up to see you, as it happens. <sighs> Got a letter for you. From Mid, Listen, most likely. By the sound of it. One of your uncle's men said I was to hand it to you in person, post-bleeding haste. And you're here now. Thank you, Oberleth. Don't mention it. All right, are we going to deal with the letter, or are we going to go chasing Mid? Tidings, uncle. What do we got? My dear boy, my journey to Canver has been a resounding success. The friend I mentioned not only agreed to share the contents of his strongbox with us, but his considerable knowledge of the goings-on in the free cities. 
by which I learned of the endeavors of a certain young friend of yours. Though I for one believe Miss Telemont's project to be quite the valiant enterprise, I doubt the Canvarian authorities will take kindly to the unauthorized use of their dockyards, no matter how deserted. And if rumor has already reached my friend, it may not be long before the guildmasters are rapping at our door. Which is why I pen you this note. I would like to borrow your mangav for a moon or two, that you might keep a watch on those who might mean our little fellowship ill, and warn us of any impending attack. I trust that you will give this proposal your full consideration. <sighs> Troubling Kelma. Hmm. Well, I'll need someone to keep an eye on mid. Gav, you're up! You can keep her out of trouble, so at least. Mid got us to do all her dirty work and then just sailed off into the sunset. Mm-hmm. It, uh... Seems that way. <laughs> well, nothing we can do about it now. But next time you plan on visiting Sid, you might want to tie her to something before you suggest it. <coughs> oh, don't be so hard on her. Gotta admit, the dirty work was kind of fun. Everyone pitching in, all that bollocks. Just like when we built this place. <laughs> You're right. Anyway, we all set to head to the old hideaway. I could do with getting to Canva pretty sharpish. Wouldn't do to keep Lord Rosfield of the Seven High Houses waiting now, would it? Not after he asked for me personally. <laughs> Gav will be leaving with me. Will you mind the place while we're gone? You can count on me. Just be <sighs> sure we'll give Sid and the others my regards. All right. Mm -hmm. Oh, by the way, Jill will be joining us too. I'm not surprised she's there. got some things to take care of, but she'll meet us there. I hope she's telling the truth at least. Ah, uh, yeah. Seriously, mid. Oh my goodness. Oh. Sid's legacy. Oh, the dust settled little remains of the once bustling refuge many called home. Damn. I don't even get to call it the hideaway anymore. It's literally just Sid's legacy. I mean, the whole place has probably been buried. Just carve the mark on the stone. A nice little rendition of Sid's theme, too. <laughs> well, Sid, I remember what you told me. But if no one is listening to what you have to say, you may as well not say it. But I will say this, old friend. Hugo Cooker is gone. His shadow looms over us no longer. Mm -hmm. And we only got it's two stones the left. Phoenix can't be in two places at once. If he'd have been with us, maybe he could have done something for the lost. No. Not even the Phoenix can bring people back from the dead. Life has a beginning and an end. As much as I wish Josh could bring people back. Oh, what do we got? Sid's hideaway. A hidden refuge built on fallen ruins in the blighted lands of Central Storm. Here, Sid and his adopted family of freed bearers from across the twins made their home. That is, until the fledgling Utopia was brought crashing down after its location was discovered by Hugo Kupka, dominant of Titan in the year 873. In but a single night, the hideaway was destroyed. Fewer than half managed to escape the slaughter visit upon them by Kupka and his men. And it's not helpful when, you know, Titan himself comes stomping in. In the fall. An assault by Hugo Kupka, dominant of Titan and his private guard, on the first hideaway of Sid the Outlaw in the year 873. The safe haven established amongst forgotten ruins long consumed by the blight was entirely destroyed, and many of Sid's collaborators and the bearers they had freed from servitude were slain. Ah, <sighs> sad, sad. So we must live while we have the chance. And not as slaves to the crystals, but as free men. May we join you? Ah! Karen's here too. And Goot. Or not Goot. Lady Karen. 
What a pleasant surprise. I thought I'd drop by and see how you were all doing before ready enough to restock my supplies. Flowers won't actually grow out here. You know? The more I think about it, the more I'm worried that cracking the crystals is actually serving Ultima's plans. It's honestly kind of it concerning. Wasn't the most scenic view back then, but it were never as bad as this. I know. The blight marches on. And soon, there will be no escaping sites like these. <sighs> See, that's what I keep thinking. So our mission remains unchanged. Does it, though? Like, the simple fact that cracking the crystals hasn't slowed the blight down in any way, it's gotta put some holes in this theory, right? We cannot stop until every mother crystal is gone and their thirst for ether with them. The only one that remains in storm is Drake's tail in the crystalline dominion. Our next target. Oh boy. We're going to Twinside. It's the capital of the Empire these days. I wouldn't like to think how tightly guarded they've got the place. And you're gonna be in Canver. Not that that'll stop you, but we do well to scout it out before you go charging in. We would indeed. If you're off to the Dominion, you can take this great lump with you. Hmm. <laughs> goots. Oh, Goots, oh, yeah, I, I thought sorry. it was Goots. Have you forgotten you're the most wanted man in the Twins? <laughs> I thought you might like to disguise yourselves as the attendants of a travelling trader, assuming you've no better ideas. Fair enough. You wanted to buy yourself some tools, didn't you? Well, now's your chance. <laughs> <laughs> You're letting me go with them. Oh, God. Oh, thanks, <laughs> Nan. Stop that, you break me bones, you great galoot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. What have I signed up for now? There's a caravan that runs back and forth between the Dominion and the Boklad Market. It's managed by the Merchants oh. Guild. Just show them Goots' traders pass, and you'll be on your way. Hmm. It'll be a damn sight less risky than footing it the length of the crystal road. That's for sure. Yeah. Thank you, Karen. That's what Josh did. And glad to have you with us, Goot. Just. Oh, oh, okay then. I'll get me things and I'll meet you there. Just... See you down in Buckland. Just do me a favor and stay out of the fights. <laughs> Good lord. Couldn't happen to a nicer lady. You're with me. Understood. And Gav. Already on my way, Captain. Be careful. Aren't I always? <laughs> I almost thought for a second he was about to do the Emmett wave. Oh, that would have been a fun thing to see. Gav doing the Emmett Selk wave. Did you see that, Sid? Your protege's making a proper little outlaw of himself. Oh. <laughs> <sighs> Time to start scouting out the Crystal Dominion. Or I should say, the Empire's new capital. Oh. And I've been locked out of everywhere else for the time being, I suppose because I've got Goots with me. Latney's Cleft. A narrow pass through otherwise impassable mountains, thought to have been torn from rock by the very gods themselves. Eastern Dalmechia. And this place doesn't look like it's ripe for an ambush now, does it? Sheesh. Nothing new here. Goots, do me a big favor and stay out of the fighting. Oh, he's not even here yet. Hmm? Good boy. Easy does it. Five, I still think you need to change your outfit to something a little less conspicuous. Onward. How are you feeling? Better. Thanks to Talia. I'm glad to hear it. And Torgal helped too. Didn't you, boy? <laughs> oh. Suddenly just gained a new side quest? 
Oh, it's on the way. Get cart. <laughs> I mean, I guess, I assume we're all locked out of everywhere else? No, everywhere else just suddenly opened right back up. This used to be a trade route for merchants crossing the scars. Till the Republic laid a new road wide enough to let wagons pass. And all official traffic moved there. Mm. Leaving this one for those living outside the law. Indeed. I doubt we'll be the only outlaws on the trail today. Oh, lucky me. Oh, oh lucky me. Let's find us that side quest first. Actually, what enemy, what level are the small fries right here? You're level 30? Come on. I'm 37. I think you guys need to pick up the pace a little bit. All right, hang on. I'm gonna pit stop and see what the Straight trouble is now. here. So what do you think? I think you've got a quest for me. It's as bad as that. Oh, why? There's trouble up ahead. And too much of it for us to handle. But not me. I take it there's danger on the road. Damn, look at that sword. That is a king's sword. This fearsome looking fellow. You think he'd be equal to the task? Well, no doubt. Assuming he's willing to hear us out. Why do I feel like I'm being set oh, up for Nick, something? Friend. My brother and I have been tasked with finding a merchant's missing cart. You seen it by any chance? I did pass by a cart a few seconds ago. This place is cart. Oh, the man's a coward. When he thought goblins might come a-snarling, he ran, leaving his livelihood abandoned in the pass. He sent the two of us to fetch it, but it's gone. Now, I'm not much of a thinker, but I know the work of thieves when I see it. Mm. My brother's right on all accounts. And by my estimation, the bastards are lying in wait just down the road. Lucky me. We may have seen our share of action, true, but we've not got the skill in arms to boldly brave an ambush. You, however, have the look of a man who needn't fear a band of backwater ruffians. What do you say? Will you help us out? Chances are they'll come for you either way. But if you promise to lend us a hand... At least you'll pocket a reward for your troubles. I really feel like I'm being set up here. Well, if I'm going to have to deal with them anyway. You've clearly got a fine head on those broad shoulders. We're lucky you came along. Now, hoping to make a heavy purse in Botclad, our merchant friend loaded his cart with as much as it would carry. Of course he did. Reckon he won't be forking over the rest of our fee if we don't find those goods. So... While you're seeing to those bandits, you keep your eyes open. <sighs> All right. Just don't expect me to drag the cart out of there myself. Nope, nope. Uh, you can leave the cart to us. You just put an end to those bandits and point us in the right direction. You do that, we'll take care of the rest. Oh no. I have a feeling you guys are bandits yourselves. This seems way too convenient. Oh dear. I'm not sure. Uh, not far. I trust those two. Mm -hmm. But if there are bandits lying in wait, I should probably take care of them. Uh, oh yeah. <laughs> Speaking of not. bandits, we've got guests. These must be our bandits. <laughs> ah, that's smart. Ah, a little, a little late there. Uh, wrong way. That did a nice little chunk of change. Big guy. 
Farewell. <laughs> oh, that wasn't too bad. And yeah, they were right. I figured there were going to be actual bandits here. Thank you. Now. Where's them dealt with? No. Where's that cart? Exactly. Where's that cart indeed? Is it over here? I know the marker's over here. Hang on. Gotta get past the barrier first. Excuse me. Ugh. Oh. This thing looks like it's seen better days. Getting all of this out of here will be a nightmare. Mm-hmm. Seems we found ourselves the right man for the job, wouldn't you say? Found the cart and didn't leave a single bastard breathing. Our merchant friend will be delighted. And how exactly will he be getting his goods out of here? You leave that to us. After all, it'd be wrong to make such a fine warrior haul cabbages to market. You've done your part. And that's all you need to worry about. Here. I do not feel good about this quest. I really it's don't. It's been a pleasure. Now piss off. There's no need to be so rude, brother. What if we want his help again next time? Yeah, I have a feeling that I'm going to see these two again, and it's not going to be pleasant. <sighs> I did get a nice chunk of weir right, though. Make up for all that I spent on this dang sword. You gonna say anything interesting? You've had your reward and you're not getting any more. Now piss off. Sheesh. Alright, fine. I see the Dalmex lag behind Rosaria when it comes to bridge building. Mm-hmm. The fallen ruin should hold at least. Uh the path continues on the other side. Which way am I going here? Does it matter? Guess it doesn't. Hmm. Uh-oh. Fallen mechs. They're gonna wake up and get... Yep, I knew it! Oh, let's get the defense node. I'm gonna get to see the town coming up the hill here. Or is this gonna be a very unpleasant sight greeting my eyes? Oh, no. Dude, look at that waterfall! Wow. The final sin. Dalmachian Republic. So this is a Megas. What is this place? Dude, this is so cool! This Mechis Falls, a vast cavity in the earth located in the steppes of the Forgotten, a desolate coastal region of eastern Telmechia. Despite the fact that for centuries seawater from the Strait of Otha has flowed into the plumless crater without cease, it shows no sign of filling. The tragic tale that came to be known as the Sins of Desmechis is said to have taken place here. You gonna tell me what that is? Hmm? Goots! Apprentice to Karen and ally of the hideaway. He's the proud bearer of a trader's pass that allows him to travel freely across the realm, something that is indispensable in completing the errands that Karen sends him. His latest task, to journey to the Crystalline Dominion in the company of Clive and Jill, using the pass to cross the heavily guarded and fortified border. <laughs> and Bakled, a busy market town situated on the northeast coast of Damekia, also known as the Thousand Tables, its streets throng with merchants from across the realm, each loudly hawking their wares to keen-eyed customers intent on finding a bargain. The land of the gods. Huh? It's even more impressive than I imagined. I remember being captivated by the story as a child. Long, long ago, man was overcome by avarice and challenged the gods in a bid to win their power. The final battle took place here, at these falls. Or so the legend goes. Dang. What what's at the bottom? manages to plumb those depths, perhaps we'll learn if there's any truth to the tale. That the gods emerged victorious, and punished man for his defiance. Okay, please tell me this tale is getting added, it's not. By visiting upon him two curses. Dominance in bearers. Really? To tell the truth, 
I always thought it strange that the Dominant and their icons were deemed a curse. Back home, the Dominant inherited the throne. They were admired and exalted, not spurned. Thinking of Josh again. When I got to that part of the story, I always assumed there must be something I'd misunderstood. You had a lot of storybooks, didn't you? <laughs> In your room, I mean. When we were young. The old legends were always my favorites. Epic battles between gods and men. Father encouraged me to read as much as I could. He thought it good for my education. It is. Believe me, we're probably going to be recreating one of those battles. Like any other, weren't you? <laughs> Before this game is out. Just look at this place. It's enough to make you believe the legends are true. I know. <sighs> we're not far from Boklad. The road will be busier up ahead. Mm-hmm. And we'll have to keep our wits about us. Come on, we gotta find Goots. Dude, I really hope we get to find out the story of that crater because that thing looks wicked. There's a lot of fallen ruins around it too. Clive? Something wrong? Nothing. It's nothing. You get suddenly a, like a little feeling of Ultima. Meanwhile, guessing that's twin sides. Yep, seat of the Imperial Court. All right, I want to know how did Any Bitty get on the throne? Father. You have surrendered the throne to Olivier. Why though? This makes no sense. I have. The kid's not even got enough brains between him to do Emperor anything. Emperor Olivier shall rebuild the Holy Empire of Sambre. Look at the kid. He's like listless. How is he to rule an empire? He is but a boy. I shall advise him until he comes of age. Father, please. Or for as long as I am able. The empire we seek to build needs young blood to rule it. And I can think of none better suited to the task. There is something there is other very wrong with that beyond. kid. Very wrong. Hugo Kupka is dead and Drake's fang destroyed. The pillars of the Republic have fallen. Ere long, the Imperial Banner shall fly over every city in storm. And then, Valisthea. All shall bow before their Emperor. Father, these are the words of a tyrant. Yes, they are. They are the words of a god. <coughs> the Emperor whom I gladly serve. Great Grieka made flesh. Somebody's really drinking the Kool-Aid here. Good Lord, man. Are you nuts? Return to your camp, Dion, and ready your forces. It is time to show the world the true power of Sambrek. Well, I really hope we get to take him and Mommy Dearest out in the same big clash. I find you much changed. Is this truly the path you wish to tread? Or are these the ambitions of another? Of Ultima, perhaps? Oh. What nonsense is this? I speak my mind. And my mind only. Do you really? Though I do owe Annabella thanks 
for reminding me of certain truths regarding the nature of nations, of rulers, and of the divine. You will trust the words of this traitress. She betrayed her country. She slew her husband. You have ever been an invaluable servant to Sambrek, Prince Dion. I trust you will continue to serve your emperor in the wars to come. <gasps> the canker! Silence! Insolent wretch! <clears throat> you will bend the knee. All else is heresy. Sire, forgive me. Hey, yeah, but Dion, come on. This audience is over. Come, your radiance. The Rowena Syndicate awaits your pleasure. Oh, not another meeting with silly old men. They're so boring. That figure's eyes are glowing. I'm hungry, Father. Can't we have luncheon instead? Does it pain you that you will not inherit your father's throne? I have suffered worse. <laughs> Count your blessings, Dion. For a baseborn child to be chosen by Bahamut is miracle enough. You have risen high on his wings, but you shall rise no higher. Lest your impure blood stain the throne. Oh god dang it. This is why the why she did this? This is why? Uh I'm pretty sure it was mentioned earlier, yeah, that he's actually like, you know, half common blood, which is perfectly fine. Oh, uh, what do we got? He is deeply loyal to his father, you know, despite the fact that he doesn't deserve it, and is much pained by his radiance's recent cold heartedness towards both his people and himself. A change that Dion learns was largely the result of Annabella's scheming. Idiot. Hmm, Annabella and old Lewis Olivians in the affairs of the Imperial Court was only to grow over the years, until Sylvester was finally convinced to surrender his throne to the young prince, announcing him to be the latest in the long line of earthly incarnations of Gregor. I doubt it. Uh, he's like the spawn of Ultima or something, I swear. Oh, uh, after Annabella's machinations saw the Dalmex siege of the Crystal Dominion broken and the victory ascribed to the young prince, Sylvester was convinced to surrender his throne to their beloved son, anointing him Emperor Olivier, first of his name. And the bitch. She has long labored to see her son seated on his father's throne, a plan that comes to fruition after her schemes with Hugo Kuka to bring an end to Dalmechia's long siege of Twinside, and sees this triumph ascribed to the young prince. What do you know of my blood? Uh oh. Is that evil smirk of hers? God, I cannot wait to take her down once and for all. She has been such a freaking. Ugh! We gotta get rid of her. We've got to get rid of her. To the north. We just need to hug the coast. Mm hmm. Infiltrating the Dominion won't be easy with the Imperials on high alert. No. His Radiance has lost one capital already. We can be sure Sylvester will do everything in his power to hold on to Twinside. His troops are well-trained and increasingly battle-hardened. But it's not as if we can wait for the siege to end. Mm-hmm. More refugees. Yep. And they're all making for the Crystalline Dominion. Because they don't know how to live without the crystal's blessing. <sighs> well, they're gonna have to learn the hard way soon enough, because that thing's coming down. Oh, no need to ride from here. Mm. Made it to Baklod. Baklod. There are no crystals here. Good lord. This is where we're supposed to meet Goots, isn't it? That's right. He said he'd wait for us here after replenishing his supplies. I dare say he'll have finished by now. I would hope so. The question is, where would he be? Oh, there was an obelisk here. Sweet. And a merchant with some new stuff? That is far weaker than what I'm carrying. Far weaker. Uh, although I will take the orchestral roll. Thank you. Out of my sight, wretch. 
All right, Gooks, you right here somewhere? The Bacolod Markets, Dominican Republic. Uh, the Crystalline Impasse, what is this? Oh, this is the current conflict going on. A conflict fought between the Holy Empire, Sunbrek, and the Republic in the year of 878. The dispute was born from the Dalmachians' fierce objections to Sunbrek's occupation of Twinside, capital city of the Crystalline Dominion. However, when the Republic finally entered the fray, it found itself sorely outmatched. Sid the Outlaw's destruction of Drake's Fang further weakened their position, and with their homeland in chaos, the Dalmachs were forced to negotiate a withdrawal. Credit for the turn of events was largely attributed to Oliver Le Sage, second-born son of the Holy Emperor, in light of which he was made Crown Prince. From across the water, come one, come all, feast your eyes. Good sir, can I interest you in... Uh, no interest, man. Bread, How much cakes. For a measly crust of bread. You won't find any cheaper. Not nowadays. Oh, you're more than welcome to look. Hmm. I see the markets are not going well. War is not good for economics. It's really not. You know, unless you're selling weapons. The Empire's unlawful and illegitimate occupation of the Crystalline Dominion is still in effect. Only those whose business in Twinside has been officially approved by the Republican Army will be permitted to cross the border. Shit. All who seek entry are a formal line and ready their documents for inspection. It looks like we aren't the only ones who are eager to leave. And they're checking everyone. That's not good. But can't you make an exception? Not for the likes of you. We won't get through without that pass. <sighs> Let's go and find good, shall we? I have a feeling we're going to be doing a few quests in this area to get that pass. Seems to be a trend around here. He must be around here somewhere. Yeah. Find Goots. Come taste my peaches. Where is he? Ah, there you are. The large one. <laughs> oh, Goots, there you are. Clive, I I'm so sorry. Don't tell Nan, will you? Slow down, Goots. Just tell us what happened. It's me trader's pass. It's gone. What? We cannot ride the caravan without it. We won't even be able to get through the flipping checkpoint. Mm. Do you remember when you last saw it? It was in me pocket a minute ago. Then a band bumped into me and... Oh, no. You, you don't think that they might have nicked it, do you? It wouldn't surprise me. A busy market like this is prime territory for pickpockets. Yep. So, to get the pass back, we need to find this child. Where would we even start? I, I know where! I, I've got a pal in Bocklad who might be able to help us. No one knows more about what goes on round here than she does. Of course. Where do we find her? She's the owner of the Crimson Caravans, up that way. Sign's got a red chocobo on it. Hmm. No time like the present. You two go on ahead. I'm gonna check the rest of me stuff, make sure no one else is missing. All right. We'll meet you there. Hi, hey, uh. God dang it, Goot. Seriously. Keep an eye out for this red chocobo, then. And the other on our purses. Next to the chocobo. <laughs> you know, I'm not gonna be half surprised if said wife actually works for whoever Goots' friend is. It would not surprise me in the least. Uh. Red chocobo. Looking to hire a coach? It's ten million for a two-birder to the Crystalline Dominion. Damn! Take it or leave it. You're nuts! We're not here for that. Then I bid you good day. Oh, wait! Just don't go, El. He's my mate. As I live and breathe. Goots, what are you doing back in Bocklad? <sighs> <laughs> I gather Lady Karen didn't send you. Uh, kind of, but not entirely. So what trouble have you got yourself into this time? <laughs> uh, it's me trader's pass. It, it got stolen. 
by a little burn. Ah, uh, yeah. Is that all that? You're the size of a marble. <laughs> I like that insult. You've That's a good one. That you know the markets well. Might you have an idea which little band could have done this? We don't intend to punish them. We just need our pass back. Then we can be on our way. I see. So neither of you has a trader's pass either. No. Nope. Kind of needed goots to get through. <laughs> Not that anyone would take you for traders, but I suppose that's why you came to me, correct? Now, I can't say for sure who took your pass, but I suspect I know why they did it. Let me explain. Hmm. Oh. I was half expecting a Vivian lecture. Well, late on me. Ever since the Fist marched on the Dominion, the Republic has been clamping down on any commerce that might aid the Empire more than it does us. Which means traders' passes have gone from being merely a way of easing one's progress to being essential if one wishes to cross the border at all. Mm. And with demand outstripping supply, they've become a precious commodity, leading some to seek to acquire them by less than legitimate means. Ah, that's the plan. We're gonna sell the thing. Oh, got her. Eloise, owner of the Crimson Caravans, a highly esteemed Portrait film in Buckland. Eloise has a knack for business and a head for figures, which she used to build her business from the ground up into the success it is today. Finally got a good picture of Bucklod. Uh, the gate at the rear of the town leads directly onto the Crystal Road and is therefore out of the Republic. As such, it is heavily guarded against unauthorized entry or exit. And the Isles of Ark. Hmm. The cluster of tiny islands upon which the Crystal and Dominion stands. They're largely man-made, having been built on top of existing ruins, and are arranged with an administrative hub at the center surrounded by the citizens' dwellings, and beyond those, the slums in which various refugees make their homes. The glistening spire at the island's center is home to the Dominion's mother crystal, and we're gonna break it! So the children are stealing passes to sell on the black market? Yes, and no. Passes are inscribed with the names of their owners. And yet, none of the victims' names have appeared on the register of those passing through the checkpoint. Mm. Which means? That someone is doctoring the stolen passes. Even worse. The same someone who is encouraging the children to steal them. And the same someone who has Goots's pass, no doubt. And I assume you know said someone? Whoever they are, they're ruining the livelihoods of honest merchants. Which is why we've decided to take a stand. Will you stand with us? Hmm? You want to get your pass back. And we want to ensure that no more are stolen. Catch whoever's behind it all, and two birds shall be slain with a single stone. Not like I got Is a choice. There any other way of getting to the Crystalline Dominion Goods. They won't let you in if you're not with the caravan. It's that a. Uh... I don't know. Try swimming across the strip. <laughs> <laughs> Well, the guards will definitely spot you if you try and do that. Like, uh, we don't want to get spotted, right? Nope. So either we find the people who took the pass, or give up all hope of entering the Dominion. Hey, uh... All right. We'll help. Mm-hmm. Thank you kindly. Um, yeah. But I don't know your name. Eloise at your service. Clive. Clive. Yeah. A pleasure doing business with you, Clive. Oh, another emblem. Just add it to the sash. Yep, the Crimson Collar from Eloise. The proprietor of the furniture makers by the coach stop is spearheading the search. Wear that, and he will know you for a friend. I suggest that you speak with him first. The furniture makers. Understood. <sighs> to catch a thief. Well... Figured we'd have to be doing at least a couple quests in here. Not surprised. Now the question, are there any side quests that suddenly added to the pot? No, there are not. Surprisingly, I didn't get a single side quest added to this. That's a lot of furniture, man. How do you haul that around? Are you the furniture maker? Looking for something in particular? 
information. Ah, and a wee collared you too, eh? Then I expect you want to know more. She told me you were leading the hunt for the pickpockets. What have you learned? For one, that they're targeting the traders carrying the biggest packs. Harder to watch your back, see? And less chance of the mark giving chase if they're spotted. Mm. Not that they'd be likely to catch them. Those imps know every inch of this warren like the backs of their hands. Their eyes must have lit up when they saw Goots. The fishmonger round by the gate's been trying to track down the children involved. You should go and have a word with her. Thank you. We will. Uh, I see how this is gonna go. It's been a lot of back and forth. Fishmonger, fishmonger. Oh, she's up ahead. Jill, 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 come on. <laughs> Look, I, I know we want to get close, but uh, I want to get this quest side. moving on. You should come with me to the Dominion. Fish for sale, fresh sorted and smoked. How about information? <laughs> interest you? Ah, sorry. Message from Eloise, is it? She's asked me to help her. To help you find the pickpockets. Is that so? Suppose I better tell you what I know then. Mm -hmm. For one, this isn't a family operation. All the traders say the children who stole their passes were dirty, dressed in rags. So orphans. Street urchins, by the sound of it. We get a lot around here. <sighs> orphans Sad. from the wars. A few, perhaps. You saw the refugees gathered by the entranceway? Mm -hmm. They're all looking for a new start in the Dominion and beyond. Some of them take it as an opportunity to rid themselves of unwanted baggage. Oh, that's disgusting. Whoever's behind this would have to have made themselves known to the children at some point. And so should we. You should start with the children around here, then. I doubt they're the ones involved, but they might have heard something. It's worth a try. <laughs> All I gotta do is let them pet Torgal. All right, then. Questioning children. How hard can that be? <laughs> uh, how hard can that be? Come Good taste Lord. my peaches. They're sweet as nectar. Excuse me. Do you mind if I ask you something? Can't stop you. Sheesh. I was just wondering if anyone has asked you to do anything out of the ordinary recently. <sighs> anything you grown-ups ever ask us to do is shut up and go away. So guess what I'm about to tell you to do? Sorry. I'll leave you alone. Ouch. Well, that one was definitely a dead end. Eesh, the mouth on that kid. Uh. I'll take the large one. The oh. oh, that one definitely looks like uh, somebody looking ready to steal something. Do you have a moment? What do you want? What I want is to know who's asking children like you to pick pockets. I don't know. Nobody's asked me. What's picking pockets? Do you get paid for it? Ah, oh, crap. No, uh, you get in trouble for it. So if they come calling, you know what to tell them. Huh. Well, that all, you know, suit me. <laughs> that'll show me for judging a book by its cover. Excuse me. What do you want? I, I I don't have any money. It's all right. We're not going to hurt you. We just want to talk. What, what, what about? We've heard that some very bad people are making children like you steal from travelers. We need to know who's behind it so we can stop them. I don't know much about it, really. But my friend, Honza, he, ah, we got he one. said he got a job doing something dangerous. Sounds promising. We need to find him and ask. Do you know where your friend might be? He's usually by the tents outside town. Uh. Thank you. You've been very helpful. I'm thinking maybe they're not selling the passes as much as they are using them to try and get some of the refugees through the checkpoint. This is less, you know, greed than more desperation. She must have been the refugee camp. Let's hope he's still nearby. Uh, here we are. <laughs> that big fat donkey was easy pickings. 
Mm. He wouldn't have noticed if we robbed his boots off him. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> yeah. Wish we hadn't handed over the pass, though. Could use one of those things to get out of this dump. Chance would be a fine thing. The moment they found out, they'd string us up by our guts. Would they now? Perhaps you'd like to introduce us to these charming characters. Shit! We're in trouble now! Yep! What do we do? You two get caught if you want. I'm off. Torgal? Hunter, where are you going? So that was Hunter, eh? Jill, you watch these two. I'm going after him. All right. Don't be afraid to give him a little cold feet if it uh, comes down to it. He can't have gone far. God dang it. I need to find him before his employers do. <sighs> yeah, I, I'm definitely revising the desperation. This is definitely a group doing this out of greed. Did you see a boy run past? He stole something from a friend of mine. There was a boy who ran back there towards the chocobo pen, but... Thank you. What? But? Come on, man! Can't leave the sentence like that! Uh, what in the, oh, that's just the crystal. Where's he at? There you are, you it's little rascal. Cornered. Mm hmm. It's alright, Hunter. I'm not going to hurt you. I just want to ask you some questions. Fine. Not like I've got a choice. Nope. I'm looking for the people who are making you steal for them. Who are they? Call themselves the Carl Stones. They said they'd give me a good gill if I did what they told me. I knew they were bad, but bread doesn't come for free. <laughs> didn't come at all half the time before I started buzzing for them. You know, if I didn't do it, they'd just pick on someone else. Someone they could push around easier. Hunter. Okay, so half right. Kids are doing it out of desperation. These cast stones are doing it out of greed. You found him then? Yeah. Jill. Where are the other two? Eloise is watching over them. She sent Goots and I to look for you. <laughs> you him! I haven't got your pass anymore, if that's what you're after. I gave it to the cast stones. Whatever you do to me, I can't get it back. Not that I go against them anyway. If it weren't for their gill, me and my mates would have starved. Hmm. And I assume that's them about to walk into frame here. Easy does it. Cowards. You will not force another child to do your bidding. Oh, somebody's got the wrong... <laughs> Don't hurt him. You're making a mistake. We're on the same side. Like hell we are. That brooch. Where did you get it? Uh, Master Theo. <laughs> oh, he knows that. Goots. What are you doing with these people? Unless you're the ones my sister was talking about. Oh, Eloise? Come on. <sighs> Jeez, man, jumping to conclusions like that spooked me good. <laughs> Eloise didn't tell us she had a brother. And why would she? I'm just her back and a blade. Mm. Theodore, at your service. Sorry about before. <laughs> Theodore, what do you know of the cast stones? Vultures who have made Boklad their hunting ground. Mm. They prey on the desperate. Stealing from those with Gil and bullying those without it into joining their flock. I'd been looking into their activities in hope of sparing the refugees any further hardship. But it seems they've already stooped even lower than I'd feared. Mm -hmm. Hans is a good lad. Don't blame him for what they've made him do. If he and his friends hadn't agreed to work for the stones, some other poor souls would have. On pain of death, most likely. Damn. Clive, was it? And my sister has asked you to help put an end to the pickpocketing. Yep. Then we all want the same thing. So, where are they? Oh, really? 
Well, I didn't technically catch the thief, but now I need the thief's employers. I suppose we're using this as a, a markup for getting our next main quest and a bunch of side quests, right? So, what's the plan? What else? We find the cast stones and we crush them. You get your traders pass back and I make Boklad a safe place again. Hmm. All right then. Sounds good. All right then. Now where are they? Honza, where are they camped? Don't worry. They'll never know you told us. Well, they won't live long enough to care. They always come to town to collect the passes. Meet us outside the gate. I tried following them once, but they spotted me halfway down the trail. Said they'd string me up. We'll try it this time. Which way were they going? Back down the road towards Leighton's Cleft. Hmm. To Leighton's Cleft then. All right. Blood from the stones. Leighton's Cleft is to the south past the camp. All right. That's the plan. And again, no side quests popping up. Curious. All right. This is not a small search radius. Oh, but I see people right there. That's easy enough. All right. Time to beat some answers out of these guys. That's the one who's been sticking his nose in our business. You should have minded your own. It's over. Boom. Destroyed. Leaders, but at least we know we're on the right track. Well, that was easy enough. <laughs> that is a nasty one-two punch. It really is. And here comes another serving. Oh, there's a healer over there, or a caster. Come on. Oh, they've got two casters. We got company. That's the lot. Oh, it's not up yet. All right. Come here. No more casting for you, sir. More foot soldiers. Fewer now. Mm hmm. What's next then? Up here? Oh, that looks like a bandit camp to me. Oh, and a big guy. <laughs> Not a bad haul today, eh? Aye. Some of our new recruits are natural born ne'er do wells. Especially the little ones. That Hans has got nimble fingers, all right. <laughs> It'll be a shame when they chop them off. But till then, let's make the most of it. Oh, scum. Scum. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. I'm not making this up. I did not call that. <laughs> I wasn't planning on showing them any. We're ready when you are, Theodore. Oh, I'm ready. That was amazing. Thank you. Fuck. That dog from Buckland. Kill him. Kill them all. That's my line. Yeah. Woo. Sick of <laughs> Perfect block. And big ol' counter. And destroyed! Fifty thousand! Oh, <laughs> oh, we did good there. Ow! Hey, he did a double swing there. Goodbye. 
I got a trophy for that. Break it 50k. Nice. Eh, not too bad. Is that the last of them? Are there any more cast stones for me to cast into the stones? <laughs> My god dang. And they say crime doesn't pay. Gold chains, rings, purses. Ah, and traders' purses. Dozens of them. Dozens? Damn. Their name's been changed. Mm -hmm. Not yet. I recognize some of them. No doubt Goots's is somewhere among them. <sighs> now I just need to sort through it all and return everything to the people it was taken from. We should go and give Eloise the good news. Can we leave things here in your hands, Theodore? Of course. I mean, we should oh, grab yeah. Goots's pass first. Be sure to tell her of the part I played, won't you? <laughs> uh, nope, seriously, we should grab Goots's pass now. Fine. Ah, Clive. How goes the hunt? My brother isn't getting in your way, I trust? Not anymore. Quite the opposite. <laughs> ah, a fade out as we tell the story. So it was the cast stones who were behind it all. Theo told me he'd been on their trail. Well, they're toast now. And their demise solves three problems at a stroke. That of the pickpockets, the bandits pulling their strings, and the passes they were stealing. I only hope yours is among the items you recovered. Only time and Theo's return will tell. Speaking of, I'm guessing? Speaking of whom? <laughs> Welcome home, dear brother. You are too kind, Eloise. Ish. No love lost between these two. Dear Clive, goods is past. Ask him to keep a closer eye on it from now on, would you? I will. Thank you. <laughs> El, I've asked our boys to carry the rest of the goods back. Can I count on your help in sorting through it all? Of course. I'll make some space in the storeroom. <laughs> I expect you'll soon be on your way then. But it wouldn't do to leave without introducing yourself properly. Uh -huh. Would it now? Sid. Oops. Busted! Don't look so shocked. We're on the same side. Ah. I don't understand. As you now know all too well, we at the Crimson Caravans are always happy to help those in need. Oh. You're barrel runners in your spare time, aren't you? Oh. Hey, we get Theodore. Porter and guard for the Crimson Caravans, the potterage firm that he runs with his beloved sister Eloise, despite the fact that these two really don't seem to get along. For a small fee, we will move anything that needs moving. Be that goods to market or bearers away from it. Mm hmm. I was the first my sister helped escape. Oh. If it wasn't for her, I'd have been branded as a boy. I had no idea. Damn. It just so happens that we are seeking to expand our operation. Mm. And who better to join forces with than the leader in the field? Fair enough. Wouldn't you agree, Theo? I would. It seems our purpose is the same in more ways than one. Want to join the Curse Breakers, Theo? Say to working together <laughs> again. It would be our pleasure. And our honor. The honor is ours. Here, Clive. This is for you. Hmm? Oh, the Crimson Compass. What is it? El has friends in high places while I have associates in uh, lower ones. That mark is proof that you're a friend to us both. <laughs> Look at that. The two emblems are joined to form the collar and compass. I shall bear it with pride. Well, all that remains is to wish you a safe onward journey. Goots's path should secure you a place on the caravan. But if you encounter any difficulties, we would be delighted to provide you with a coach of our own. For a discounted price, of course. Say... Nine million? <laughs> we'll try the caravan. Mm-hmm. I don't have a spare star ruby in my pocket, sorry. Good lord. Ah. Uh, Trader's Pass. 
A nice boost to Thunderstorm and a Meteorite. Right then. Nice. Let's get this back <laughs> you lose here. one Crimson Collar. It's on to the Dominion. Oh, and there's the, oh my goodness. Three new side quests just popped up. Oh gosh. Any more around the world or just here? Just here. Well, that's fine. Torgal, I think it's time you and I said goodbye for this episode. Don't you think, buddy? All right, boy. <laughs> you did good today. Yes, you did. And so did you. If you've enjoyed this, please leave a like and favorite and subscribe to join me for more Game of Crystals. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.